Today's the day. We're going to cut the fender skirts off. I'm going to use this to cut them off. If you can picture it, um, this was the fender. There was round rod welded on the fender to make the wheel lip from the start. And then what I did is I took a round rod and welded that to that round rod to stay in place. Uh, we welded a round rod from here all the way around to the back, what we wanted the fender skirt to look like. We rolled the metal to, get, to give it a, some tension. We pushed it on the car. Jolene welded them on. I went underneath and put some brackets underneath there so when we take them off, you can put them back on. So today, I'm going to cut them off. Uh, I'm going to put the jack underneath there, jack the car up, put a couple jack stands underneath the chassis to make, make it safe. And then I'm going to release the rear end again. I'm just going to snip the weld. There's a little weld there at a snip, and it comes right off. It's basically pretty easy. It's just uh, you have to be safe because the rear end is heavy. You know, we'll have the jack underneath it, but you just have to go easy. Um, we'll let that down. We'll take the wheels off it. And then I will come in and find where the two round rods come together. I will probably cut a little slice in it with the flapper, well not flapper wheel, but the zip cut wheel. I'll put a little cut through. And then I'll just take this and go gently all the way along the fender skirt. Yes, I'm going to cut. When I, when I take and cut this, I'm going to try to keep the blade on the round rod of the fender skirt. So the, so the fender will have a round rod up here with fill on it. And, you can, and you, if you can understand, I filled this together, so there's going to be fill jammed on the inside, in between, squished in there, so it's going to look thick. But that's okay. We filled it together. We can take that off after. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. We're going to jack it up first and uh, go from there. Jack it up first. It's always a chore to get the car up and down, but it just takes a minute. And we'll do it as quick as we can. We'll cut one off and show you what, it, what happens. Now, if you can picture it, um, the reason why I done the fender skirt the way I done it was because of the length of time it takes to do it the other way, off and on, off and on. And that's the why I, that's why I, I welded it to the car, because I knew it would fit. I filled it to the car, because I know that the fender skirt has to be filled out to fit the car. I made the brackets on the back why it was on when it was fitted out, because I know we're going to have to take it off and on. And I primed it together, because I know everything needs to be primed to see if everything's good or not. I'm just going slow because I feel that's probably best. And we're going to jack it up until we get the blue jack stands underneath the chassis. And then we will let that rear end down as easy as possible. We'll roll it out and we'll go for it. Just going to check and see. There's another thing too, just you know, to know where to jack on your car and where not to jack on your car. Uh, the pumpkin of the rear end is generally where a person goes for on the old cars is the pumpkin of the rear end. So that's what you look for if anybody's wondering. Um, not everybody has jacked up a car before, so that's why I'm saying it. And I know this because of, you know, the last couple seasons. We're just going slow. On this part, anyways, we'll speed it up some when it comes to running around. But to jack a car up in the air, it's, it, it's a... I'm hoping we can get it up for them jack stands, but I think we're close. This 
see what the other one says. I'm going to try to get that just a little bit higher. I don't like it on that slant very much. Probably should have put it on the wood. I would have got it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two jacks in front of it. And to make sure, I want to put it on the flat. The jack is, the frame's coming up and the jack's sitting on it. Could push back. Don't want that. Just put two more of these underneath of it to make sure. Take that and put it in front of that one. Yeah, probably get squished by the wheel on it. And we're gonna go with that. So it can't come down. So I'm gonna let it down. No, I'm not gonna let it down yet. Just a little bit, I guess. See what happens. Okay, now it's time to cut out the rear end. I got jack stands there. If this decides to do anything, which I don't think it will, uh, it's on there. That's not being pushed back. Take a look at the front. There's no sense of me having a bad day. No, it's, that's, it's all good. So I'm gonna take the cutting wheel I'm gonna cut the rear end out and drop that down, take the wheels off and pull that right out. From this point on, I think the car is going to be in the air, I think. I was discussing with Jolene earlier. I think it's up for the last time. And from what's gonna happen here, the, the chassis will be lowered down, the body will stay the same, but we have to do the body mounts first. Uh, did I look for those yet? There they are. I'll try not to lose these this many, you know, found them first time today, so. All right, we're gonna go underneath there and cut that. What I have is the jack underneath the rear end. I put the weight on the jack stands. So now when the, when the rear end gets cut, it, the, the weight will go on the, the jack itself. Then I'm gonna have to teeter-totter it. Or I may even get Jolene to teeter-totter it while I are disconnected from that side. I'm going to go to the other side. The jack is holding it up. It can fall either way, but I'm going to get you to do, Jolene. Just maybe just put your... Just You can steady it if possible. Or I could steady it and we lower it down. Now, I should be able to steady it. With my knees. Alrighty. I don't think that cut all the way, but... It did that time. All right, so I'm gonna let it down. I'm just gonna get out and let it down. You got a hold of that, do you? 
Okay, just, just guide it, sort of. I don't know if that side is let down. If, maybe we'll just take this out. And if you can just, like, guide it, I guess. If it falls, it's not going to hurt anything, I don't think. This side just disconnected. Uh, a second now. Pull that out some. That one's not disconnected. Is it hitting the, the, the fender skirt on this side? That's what I don't want it to do. I haven't got it cut good yet, obviously. So, I'm going to go cut, try to cut the side a little bit more. I think hit it with a hammer would probably do it, but... Hold on by the skin of its teeth. Hold up with my belly, can I? What is holding that? Oh, it's coming down. That out. I just don't want to go against that run, that uh, fender skirt, if I can help it. God love her. That's what I wanted. I did not want that to push out on that. push out on that and it didn't so I'm happy about that we're going to take some nuts off there off the wheels and pull the rear end right out that's what I want to do there Maybe I'll just... mm. these are not on there that tight are they jeez we'd have to put a wheel nut on it wouldn't I First day. Just gonna take the wheel off. Then I can pull the rear end right from underneath of it. Going to 17s, these are 16s. That little saw is going to be fairly noisy. We've only got one little hacksaw blade because that's all we found with it. We're hoping we'll go all the way through. One thing I'm one thing I'm I'm gonna to have to overcome, and I never thought of it when I was putting my brackets on. All my brackets are tight together. So what's going to happen, I'll probably have to stop cutting where the bracket is, and then I'll come on the outside and zip cut it and meet it come together. And that shouldn't be that hard. I'm at least going to want a gap like this at the door, or better, for the fender skirt. So a zip cut or that little blade is going to give me room to go either way. You know, and that's what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is to get it cut off and it fit together and not have to go back in there and do a bunch of work. I know I'm going to have to do some, but I don't want to go back in there and do a whole bunch before we go to paint. That's what I'm hoping that I don't have to do. And all I am doing, this, doing it this way for is to try to get it done quicker than if, if I done it the conventional way. That's all I'm doing it that way for. And that makes sense to me. If I can get it done quicker, I'd rather do it that way.
You've served us well. Hasn't it, baby? It served us well. Um, if I haven't told you, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to use a Jeep Cherokee rear end. I like to have the ones with the 411s in it, the Dana. 411 gives me four and a half on five, like the front, same bolt pattern. And then let that down, use this side now. Sorry about that, baby. Let's take that, let that down. And this, is the, and this is the wheel treatment that we plan on using. You can see we have a, a trim ring, and then we, we were go with the center, and that's exactly what we're going to do with the other wheels, trim ring and the center. That's what we're going to do. Played with the engine last night, the, the 305. Um, got it cleaned up, got the, all the front end off it, got all the stuff we're not going to use off it, or most of the stuff. Uh, got the valve covers on it, just sitting on there to see what it looks like. That was fun last night to do that. Just turn the project around a little bit and work on something other than this, which is fun sometimes. I know it's hard to believe if a person would think that if you had a car like this in his garage, you'd want to work on it full time. But that's not always the case. It's nice to switch up. That wheel's done as well. Uh, so we'll pull the rear end out of her. And uh, we'll start cutting and show you how we cut them off. Do you want to want that up there out of your way? You want to get back in here? Probably. Now you can see in the rear end. So, this is a fender skirt we may as well cut off. This is the one that we done that you see. I got some air. I've got there's a little saw here. If you want to come take a look first, baby, you can do both sides. We'll point them out both of what's going on you can see right here how the fiberglass and the mud is in between the fender skirts and you can see the washers now what I got to do is I got to come in here I've got to make a slit in that and then I'm going to cut it all the way along I don't think it's going to be much of a problem this is where I'm worried about right here where I put the the, the brackets in I'm going to have to cut it from the outside I see that shouldn't be so hard, but here we go. Let's, let's make Jolene famous. Let's do it, baby. My first line I see is in the back, in the very back here, sweetheart. Come take a look at the back. Watch, I'm gonna cut it right, the, right here, right in front of your face right here. That's your back. <laughs> That's where the fender skirt fits. I'm going to, I uh, just want to see here for a second. No, like I said, I'm going to take something like this and start it. Get a little hole it through. Take a die grinder, I suppose. Got me glasses in my pocket. Huh? My glasses in my pocket. God love her. God lover. Alrighty. Where did I cut that? I cut it on the edge of the fender skirt. That's the washer. I'm at the washer. I'm not going to cut that right yet. I'm going to. 
Keep going the other way. That's my first mess up. We can allow for that. That's a shame. I wonder why that did that. That's a shame. But you know what? I'm gonna have to fix a, li a little bit of it, that's hot. I got it jammed up in there and it tore it right off, I see. Might cut it off mostly with the grinder, what the hey. Good, good, good. Oh, wait, shreddies. Good. I'm cut it with this up the rest of the way. Uh, this little blade where it's dull, it starts to cut faster than it releases. <laughs> that's a shame I did that. But that's how she rolls, man. That's how she rolls. Uh, I'll carry it continue on up here. Gonna stick a hole through. There goes the blade. Oh. I'll have to tighten that up, hopefully. There goes the blade. I could cut a lot of it out with the, with the thing, but I still have to fix this. The blade that we got is not very sharp. And I think maybe that's why we're having the, the tugging issue a little bit. It's cutting, or it's getting its, it's not cutting its way before it, if you know what I'm saying, it's not cutting its way. And we'll tighten that back up. We'll just leave that right over here. Get back in here and do a little bit more. through there yet. That's why. That's why. Seem right? It's almost nicer with the grinder, you know? It's almost nicer with the grinder. Light. 
not going anywhere, though, is it? No, that's a good thing. Light. These little lights are good. Thanks, Zip. Yeah. And remember, remember, as I got that going on, we're, we're going to be going for a gap, something like that. So that's not terrifying me. We know we've got a piece to fix already at the bottom. That's not terrifying me. So we're good. So we're really good. We're good. That's going all right. That's good enough. Good enough. As long as I get her off. Continue on, Jeffrey. Continue on, Jeffrey. Where are my boots? Where am I too? I got that little messed up there, dude. We're gonna get up off my back. Goody gumdrops. Yeah. I can see that one. I know that one. This one's got a funny ass line to it. That's going to be a nice one, that one is. That's going to be hard to get off. I'm going to do it. I'm going to guess. I'll say that's a good guess. Wouldn't you, sweetheart? Yeah, me too. I can guess a lot of that too, but I don't want to. Feeling it. She's letting phrase what it's doing. You can feel it. You can feel it. Hmm. I know I could guess it, but... Let's see where the bracket is. There's a... A bracket there, a washer, there's a couple things right close by there that I'm not looking forward to. Let's see if I can get closer with this thing. Ah, I break that speaker. Where am I? Can't tell when I'm in here.
Alrighty. That's the bracket, top or bottom. Too bad here. That's the front of it. I'm just going to get a marker and guess that, and I'm going to put my hand in behind it. I just did that because we know it, it can crack easier when I take it off. That's too bad. We pulled that off. That can be almost sanded off anyways. And you're going to fall off yet, I don't think. Or hope not. Now, yeah, don't be surprised it don't fall off or... some bond on places. Let's get a little screwdriver and I'll pry in between. See if I can pry it off. Just go slow. And uh, I think like there might be some place it's not. You can see how there's a gap in between there. That's the gap we left, but we're going to have to have a gap for the fender skirt itself. So we're going to have to come back in here and gap that. But we'll gap it after we get it off and put it on a few times, I guess. That's when we'll gap it the best. Tough stuff, I'll tell you. I'm gonna light here and see if I get that connected together. Huh. That fender skirt wouldn't come off anyways because it's welded. Huh. We'll see a little bit of weld on that tab. <laughs> That's what's going on there. So I have to cut that, uh, take a die grinder and get that off. Mm, I can't get out with the grinder, I don't think, can I? Nope. What I have is I have, oh, sorry, this here. I have the fender skirt accidentally weld it to the tab, and that doesn't allow for that to drop. So there'd be no way of getting it off until I get that weld off. And that's what I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to knock that weld off. It's going to make some noise, but I got to do it. Hi, there we go. There we go.
Let the light go. Check the other side of this one. Ouch. Ouch. It's funny how a little sliver of metal can really make you... See a little bit. coming just slowly <laughs> no I don't want that to get down through that just a nice little Kind of gang busting it there, but that fiberglass is strong. Wrong. Ah. ah, that's what it is. Still weld it. It's still weld it. that we're getting close. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey! Yay for the good guys. Come on, baby. She tight, right, baby? Right there. There you go. There's your amazing fender skirt. It took a little bit of time to get it off, um, but we're in really good shape. We're in really good shape with the way that looks. Set that there. Yeah, a few places we got to fix on either side, which is understandable. But that is how it's cut off. Now we'll go in there, we'll get them snipped off. Um, we'll replace this. Chip that off because the blade got stuck. But other than that, 
I'm happy with all of it, how it come off. Uh, the fender skirt, I think, will fit again, no problem whatsoever. Uh, yeah, there, there you go. We, we've cut a fender skirt off. Now you can see how, the, how I've C-sectioned the frame of this car. We still have to bolt it down and get it in place. Have to do all the body mounts. But uh, right now, um, my main concern is to get the other fender skirt off without trying to cause as least damage as possible. I mean, if that's the, the most damage that I have, I'm okay. I'm okay. And also, what will happen, probably, most likely, is I will go up in here and I will clean that edge of that fender all off. I will clean the edge of the fender skirt all off. And then I'll come in and, I'll, and I will fill them together and prime it together and just have a little bit to take off. I will not close it shut. I will just go together. I'll put a piece of tape on one side. I'll fill the other one side. Then I'll put the piece of tape on the other side. Then I'll fill the other side. And then I'll sand them together. And I'll still have my gap. That's the way she goes. Awesome. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Really happy with it. Uh, now I'll have to put the work into the other side. And you know what they say, you only get out of life what you put in. And uh, as we're out in the garage here every day, because we prove it on the YouTube station, um, I'm hoping that the time that we put in, we will have something in the end. And that's generally what we're working for. If you do not put the time in, you cannot expect to have what you want. Um, so all them um, dreams that you have and you're going to build, Set your brain in gear and let yourself know that it all requires work clothes. <laughs> Every bit of it. Every, it. You have to put your work clothes on. Um, yeah. I'm happy with it. I don't, know, I don't know what else more to say. I'm going to clean it off, clean that side off. And what I mean by clean that side off is I'll take a flapper wheel. Uh, flapper wheel. and clean off, you know, until it looks nice. And that's what we'll do. We'll go around and clean all the mud off the edge so it looks nice, and then we'll go from there. We'll try them back on. Um, we know they fit. Um, yeah. What you think, baby? Is that all right? Fender skirt come off right? It didn't look so good when we took a big chunk out of her, did it, huh? That's all right. That was like, you know, eating the corn with it on a drill. You lost a couple teeth. You lost a little bit of filler there, and we'll put it back on because we can. Now i got to take all the washers off the edge here, get them off. They're just stuck on there easily, gently, I guess, a little bit. I don't want to mess with the, the metal too much. I don't like grinding the metal off so much. It's like getting the weld that's on it, you know, if I'm trying to say. All righty, let's turn that thing off, and we'll go back to work. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope... You got to see what you wanted to see. Uh, like and share. YouTube is our friend. And Jolene's my sexy. Have a good day, everybody.